Eliana Stephanie. My title is an Autonomy and in Artificial Intelligence uh, Research Scientist Senior. I foresee stronger communications between different extraterrestrial bodies. For example, using the moon as a relay station or a cell phone tower for interdisciplinary uh, uplinks either to Mars or to other vehicles in space. We can possibly use Mars as a relay station to communicate even further. I foresee us um, being able to use our own spacecraft to either mine for different minerals on asteroids or to be able to deflect them in case they're coming too close to Earth. I foresee our ability to maintain a human presence in space, um, whether that's colonies or simply vacation time to your local moon or all the way to Europa. Exploration in space or advancement in space systems has significantly helped civilization on Earth. For example, we initially created GPS to help us localize on Earth and now every one of us is using a GPS enabled device for things as advanced as mountaineering, uh, navigating missiles and combat ships, to using Google Maps to find your local coffee shop. I see medical devices advancing such that surgical robots are fully automated. In space, that means a life-threatening injury is survivable because you'll have a robot able to perform surgery for you. And on Earth, this means that more people will have access to life-saving surgeries. I also foresee medication against radiation poisoning being improved. When you're in outer space, you don't have a magnetosphere protecting you against any kind of solar radiation, so your DNA might unravel pretty quickly. Advancements in this kind of medicine related around DNA therapy designed to reverse not only the effects of radiation-damaged DNA, but also to possibly help with degenerative gene-based diseases on Earth. I don't think anything is 100% safe. When you drive to work and back, it's not 100% safe, but it's safe enough for us to be willing to take that risk to enjoy ourselves. I foresee space travel going that direction too. We have more simulations to help us expect what's gonna happen. We do radiation, vibration testing, thermal testing. We have so many safety factors in place and increased abilities to predict what's gonna happen that I foresee space travel being just as safe as air travel and ground travel. In the future, I expect robots to be able to perform even more automated inspections. For any extraterrestrial equipment that needs inspection or servicing, it's costly and very dangerous for a human to leave the habitat and inspect. So now, robots or swarms of robots will be able to do these inspections of the colony habitats in order to perform and do service and maintenance. I can foresee on longer trips with humans being isolated and lonely, Maybe they'll need some more emotional support and I realize that this is a new area in mental health for robots to help people. So I, I see robots performing not only the physically dangerous and demanding tasks, but also the emotional support tasks as well. I believe we're always gonna have a human factor. Um, back in the day, I think 97% of people used to work in agriculture, plowing, tilling, picking fruit. Now only 1% of the population does agriculture, but are we out of a job? No, because we're able to support more and more jobs. So I foresee with space travel being automated, we're able to focus on even bigger goals that we weren't able to initially. I mean, right now we have everyone working about safety and design, et cetera, which is very important. But what if all of that is done? What if an automated agent can help us design these vehicles for example, to do faster than light travel. Um, then we can focus on even more exciting things like learning about the origins of our universe, learning about what we expect um, our solar system to be doing in the future. Well, I think a lot of the discoveries are gonna teach us about our past, present, and the future. 
We'll learn about our origins and the evolution of the universe. We'll be able to better understand the present, what we're doing to our environment, and understand how the universe is working around us. And from there, we're able to use that information to predict the future, from predicting solar flares and determining whether there's life on other planets to achieving possibly faster than light travel and travel outside of this universe.